and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I am making a creamy Italian chicken pasta. So we recently went on a vacation to Florida and there was one night where I was looking over the menu for a restaurant and I saw this um, pasta dish. I think it had shrimp and scallops, but it was in a creamy Alfredo type of sauce with sun-dried tomatoes and that just sounded so good to me. And then the night kind of got away from us and we ended up going out to dinner at like nine o'clock just having appetizers anyway, so I never got to have my creamy pasta dish. So I've been craving something similar ever since. And when we got home, I decided to put together my own version of a creamy pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and chicken. I started by finely chopping three cloves of garlic. Next, I trimmed the fat off of two large boneless skinless chicken breasts and then I diced the chicken into cubes. In the meantime, I brought a pot of salted water to a boil, and then I added a 12 ounce box of farfalle, or bow tie pasta. I cooked this just according to the package directions until it was al dente. While the pasta cooked, I preheated my cast iron skillet over about medium high heat, added a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then tossed in the cubed chicken. I seasoned the meat with about a half teaspoon each of garlic powder, dried parsley, dried oregano, and dried basil. You could also just use a couple teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I just didn't have any in my pantry at the time. And I also sprinkled in a little bit of coarse salt and black pepper. I stirred the chicken around to coat everything in the seasonings, and then I let it sit in the skillet for a couple of minutes to start developing some golden brown color on the first side. As the chicken cooked, I drained my cooked farfalle pasta and then just set it aside. The chicken took about 10 minutes to cook completely through, and as it was cooking, I did use the edge of my wooden spoon to kind of break down the cubes into even smaller bite-sized pieces. Once the chicken was golden brown and cooked through, I removed it to a plate and started making the sauce for this creamy pasta dish. This started in my same cast iron skillet with about a tablespoon of butter and then my three finely diced garlic cloves. And for this, I did lower my heat to about medium low just so the garlic wouldn't burn. Next, I added one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes that I had drained, along with about half a jar of chopped up sun-dried tomatoes that I had also drained most of the oil from. So I believe it was an eight ounce jar, so I added four ounces. Next was my favorite part, a cup and a half of heavy cream along with a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I stirred this all together and then in just a couple of minutes it started bubbling. So I let this simmer until it thickened up a little bit. Lastly, I added in the cooked chicken and the pasta and stirred it all together so everything was coated in this creamy, delicious sauce. This dish was such a hit with my entire family. To me, it tasted restaurant quality, and I was super happy with this recipe that I came up with. I hope you give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my creamy Italian chicken pasta recipe today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.